to Toria Six. Six. <laughs> She's our floating home and the Ford Gibson 51 footer. And we love it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you guys love about being on the boat? Um, Hiding. Swimming off the boat and surfing. Um, we, have, we have room for lit heaps of toys. Yes. <laughs> you know, the wake up and just jump off the boat. Taking your home wherever you go. Yeah. It's really fun. Yeah. Anywhere the ocean will take you. So, you guys, that's three years ago now that you bought uh, Toria? Yes. Yeah. In Australia, yeah? yeah? Correct. Okay, and that was it. You just jumped on board and went cruising. Well, let's say yes, but there's a wee bit more to it. <laughs> uh -huh. we, we, we invested a bit to make it blue water ready and safe and absolutely perfect. Yeah. Before we pushed off with four kids on board. That's important. Of course. Yeah. And um, I stretched our legs along the east coast of Australia first. Mm -hmm. um, and then we went to New Caledonia, Vanuatu, and then down to New Zealand. And then we came up to Fiji this year. Yeah, it was a blue lane, hey? How good was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were so glad um, that mm -hmm. we could still travel somewhere, which was awesome. Absolutely. So, yeah, so you guys basically everything happens on the bus. You do all your schools. Yeah. And you've learnt, yeah, so yeah, so which year are you now, Bella? Uh, six, I think. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> well, actually, no, wait, it's actually school holidays right now. Yeah. So. yeah. 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 Grace, it should be grade six this year. Grade six. But, yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah. We, we do homeschool. Chris is still working. Yeah, I'm working mm. remotely. Yeah. And, um, and it works really well for us. Yeah, yeah, so you're not selling to go back to civilization, are you? No, it no. would seem that these guys don't get any smaller and yeah. <laughs> uh, and they keep eating heaps. So uh, we are looking to go to two hubs. That's what our yeah. plan is, to yeah. create a bit more space. And as people get older, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. do a sidestep to a catamaran. Yeah, that's so, right, yeah. yeah. But yeah. We're, we just, anyway. We love Toria and and at sea she's just so solid. But. She is, she's so strong, you can tell, you yeah. know. So yeah, and everything you've done to it makes her so easy to handle and safe no matter what you do. So we're going to have a look around. The system you've got at the front here. Yeah, this is the code zero. It goes off to our bowsprit and it goes onto a metal plate that drills through that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it, yeah, okay. it goes onto metal plate which is like a, like a backing plate or? Yeah. Yeah. And then it goes all the way up and it's right next to our head sail. And that goes up and it's actually quite close, but it's great. So yeah, I mean, the Code Zero permanently set up is the envy of everybody here. That's what we all want. We don't have to well, it's struggle very, with it's, having to put it on and off yeah, all the time. It's very handy, isn't it, Ted? Yeah, to and you've that. put, uh, you've actually got a sun protection cover into it, so that's mm. awesome. Yeah, okay. Um, our anchor, our snubber, goes to one of our four cleats. Why do you use a snubber? Our snubber is so it takes a load off the windlass and hooks. Yes, that's right. Yeah. And yeah. then here we have the rope. We always put it on just as backup and then we have the hook. Yeah, so triple backup. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. And that's a very good um that's a very good windlass that looks really new. Yeah, it is maybe a year old. Um, We've got ninety meters of thirteen mil chain. And a 40 kilo rock now, so yes, uh, we've actually got a whole spare unit down below in the build. Uh, the rigging was replaced in 2018, 2018, yeah, so quite new. And all yep. your running rigging looks very running rigging is also new 2018, both yeah. done before we left Australia, right? So your traveler is out here, so the ropes are all run aft, everything runs to the cockpit, everything, everything runs to the cockpit. Runs. So yeah. when we're at sea, we remain in the cockpit, uh huh. Reefing the main, I do come forward, but we run jack lines. Yeah. Right, so, yes, of course. But otherwise, yeah. everything else is, is inside. How do you have in Marina? So you have to be completely self sufficient, isn't it? Yeah, we love being on anchor uh, because we like to swing and we like to have breeze. So we're seldom in marinas. We've got 660 watts of solar uh, along with 660 amp hour battery bank, and that is more than sufficient to keep our family of six. Yes, and all your computers, and obviously, you're running your business from the bus, so you need really good. You know, power to keep your computers running, your internet, everything else, All charger phones, yes. and iPads. Home school as well. <laughs> home school, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So a lot of demands for electricity. Yes. Okay. And a fridge and a freezer. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a really good structure there. So the previous owner had this put in yes, in a, Europe. A or? very, a very wise Frenchman. Oh uh, yeah. 
put in a, an over-engineered davit system that we're very thankful for. Mm -hmm. It uh, takes all of our fishing rods, the solar that you can see, and our 18 horsepower, 3.1 metre Sirocco tender. Yes. Um, plus a couple of kids. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's very strong. Wow, yes. Um, so yeah, and it's really well reinforced on the backing place down the back as well. Yes. Super solid and the load is spread around the whole back of the boat. Spot on. Yeah, they'll fold right over. Cool. Which is great. Right. And barbecue, which we use all the time. Yeah. <laughs> we do. We <laughs> of course, it. cooking inside when it's so hot is not yeah, as yeah. easy. So that's Pip's job to show us electronics. <laughs> Has it switched on? Uh, no, nope, the bells are going to switch it on. I'll have them over here if you like. I'll just go and get one of the iPads that we use for navigation too. Yeah. So, what do all these things do? So, this one tells us what the wind is. Mm -hmm. This one tells us the tide and... <laughs> this one tells us the depth. That one's the... That's Andy, the autopilot. Oh. <laughs> so, the electronics, so this is recent to you. So, did you guys replace this? Yes, well? we did. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, it's an Axiom. Raymarine Axiom chart plotter and mm -hmm. it talks to everything else that you can see there as well. It's okay, very so yeah, great. So and if, if this stops working, you still have your info on that thing. Correct. Mm -hmm. Great. And what is this? A radio. radio. Yeah. Which we also put in out here because we only had one downstairs. And then, of course, just like everyone, we also use the iPad for navigation. Yeah. Avionics mm -hmm. is just everyone's best friend. So and Orbital, do you use Orbital map? Or? We sure yes, do. Yeah. yeah. Particularly in Fiji. Yeah. 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 And Ice Sailor as well. Ice Sailor, mm -hmm. yeah. So do you have AIS? AIS? Yes. AIS? Yes. Mm -hmm. You can usually see. So that's see. part of the remote. Yeah, okay. we can see the little birds. Mm. Cool. So people can see you and you can see them? Yes. yes. Okay. Great. <laughs> then we know where all our friend boats are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's so, the stuff. Perfect. Yeah. What kind of bus roster is it? Is it a permanently, like does it go up and down or is it a permanently set up like a tunnel through the... What is it though? It's permanently set up. So it's a tunnel? It's a tunnel. Yeah, well, that's great because yeah. that means it's a lot more reliable than some of the ones that go up and down. So it's great. It has its own battery out the bow. Yep. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's own handy. battery. Yeah, we use it a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you've got very good control over the boat. So you've got some more of those things here to put your yeah, iPad yeah. on. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a really good setup. So down here, I'm guessing that's your um, that's your emergency tiller. Correct, spot mm -hmm. on. And, and yeah. the actual tiller arm is underneath me. Yeah. yeah. Then you've got pretty good storage under those seats. We yeah. do. Yeah. Under here is our water maker and, and, and yeah, generator and um, yeah. other bits. This side has life raft and lines. Life stuff. rafts and lines down here. Yeah. yeah. And the life raft is actually, it's in a, what do you call a soft bag? It's a soft bag. Mm. Okay. But when we're at sea, it fits perfectly in that spot there. Yeah. We're so always a believer that the life raft needs to be able to be ready to deploy by the yeah. smallest person. So I was to kick off the back and we're there. Yeah. So that's quite cool. Yeah. But when we're not at sea, it, it lives under there. I see the dinghy lives up here. It does. And the engine comes off and goes onto this davit with a crane. So it's its own dedicated crane. Okay, so should we launch it? Let's do it. It takes a little bit of elbow grease, but these guys are well, well skilled. It's already in, I didn't take it out. You might want to fast forward like this in like. Good man. That's right, buddy. <laughs> Brilliant. So, <laughs> hey, so much space down below. And you, Chris, who's about seven foot tall. <laughs> I'm not joking. How tall are you? Six foot six. Six, six. So, yeah, it's yeah, so very tall. So, yeah, it's well, about two meters in the old scale. So, it was important to find a boat that I was going to be able to fit in. Yeah. Definitely. There's not that many out there. No. And I do. So, it works well. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, because you know, people would think five cabins, like, oh, is there any space for salon? But there is, it's heaps of space here. So yeah, really nice big table. 
and the upholstery is in really good condition, it's amazing. Yeah, so here we have our little captain here again, so do you want to show us what's happening here? Uh, the name station, we've got um, all the, like, the wind, the VHF and the battery charger as well, all down here. So what does it show right now, the battery monitor? The battery of 76.8% full. Is that all the yeah. batteries or just some of them? I think it's all of them. All yeah. of them? Yeah. Okay, so you got your radio. Yeah. We've got our iridium up here too. Yeah, we have another set up with an antenna, which is great. And there's a spare radio up there. Yeah, and then we've got... Autopilot? Is that your autopilot? Just repeat it. Autopilot, autopilot. No, that's the wind. Ah, okay, so that's your instrument down here. Yeah. And everything is in English and in French. <laughs> 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 so many times it's written in French and not in English. And a nice big galley and I noticed the other day you have, well, does that come with a boat? No. <laughs> Otherwise I'll have it. <laughs> that's, a, that's a negotiable item. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good item. <laughs> And yeah, notice the other day you have this awesome fridge that you can open from both sides, is that it? Yeah, so this one is more of a cool storage uh, where we keep... Crisper. Yeah, like yeah. a crisper where we keep some... Mm -hmm. it should, it should, I laugh because it should be full of beautiful fresh vegetables and fruit. I know, we're, we've but we, eaten everything. We <laughs> 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 do go back to the main thing. <laughs> I know, there's no more produce on the island, we have to get... So yeah, something. I often keep like onions, potatoes, pumpkins, yeah. things like that in there. Mm -hmm. um, to try and keep them fresh yeah. and then this is our big fridge which literally goes from there all the way down like, yeah it's really deep um so yeah let's bench up storage oh we should get the rid of that thing also it's only two years old. nice oven yeah it's so i've seen video of you bella making bread as well so yeah. <laughs> that's cool so we have air conditioning <laughs> <laughs> oh, hallelujah! Yeah, well, we do. Which, which works when we're in at in at the dock, yeah. um, and we have actually four different uh, units, air conditioning units. Uh, we've got two midships, one in the saloon, and one for these two aft cabins. So okay, cool. They're all there. However, we uh, before we left Australia decommissioned them, and so we only use the two forward or the two midship air conditioning units. All the moving parts for the saloon air conditioning and also the after air conditioning are still there. Mm -hmm. They just need to be plumbed back in. Okay. Why did we, why did we do that? We uh, wanted to minimize risk at sea and uh, we deleted a number of through holes professionally uh, before we left just to mitigate the amount of That's right. management of holes under the Absolutely. water line at sea. Yeah, you told me something crazy. Like, was it like 27 There's through hole fitting in mm. the previously? 27 through hole fittings. And yeah, we've reduced that's that crazy. down to either <laughs> 13 or 14. We have. I think it's 13, yeah. We have 13. Yeah. So, air conditioners just weren't a big part of what, what we wanted to do. Yeah, exactly. That's it. And, uh, you know, I mean, most boats at the moment, including mine, you can't go inside. It's too hot right now. But here is nice and cool. Mm, we have good airflow and yeah. because of all of the hatches on, on top. So great and airflow. And no tick deck. And no tick <laughs> it deck. It helps. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. So we're going to have a look at the cabins. So, yeah, um, sure. Where would you like to start? Well, let's start at the back. Okay, sure. Mm. So who's there? Um, this is Mum Dad. Okay. Why, why are we here? Because uh, I fit in bed. Uh, <laughs> and because also you're nice and close to the companion way if you have to get up. Oh, and, absolutely, yeah. that's, that's spot on. So, well, they're also a good time to show you our solar rig. Yeah. Because um, the 400 watts will be the 616 and the one does the balance. So, two panels per regulator. Three panels per regulator? Yes, correct. Redundancy. Okay. So I don't know if you want to refill that, but I'll leave it here. So just making a bit of a uh, fan noise right now, but it goes up after a few minutes, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yes. just, yeah. just pull the regulator down. Yeah. Okay. So that's my alarm clock as well, because when the sun Your comes up clock? in the morning, it starts <laughs> <That's> working. <it. laughs> yeah. Yeah, so this is a lovely long bed, and then yeah. we've got storage in the lazarette at the back as well. Oh, yes. And there's a window at the back. It's really yes. nice. So that's our grab bag. We just keep that there when uh -huh. we're not at sea. Okay, and then what's in there? And then this is our ensuite. Oh, okay, so yeah, great. Let's sit. And a full lens mirror, which is awesome. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice space. This is cool. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the task? So who's doing what? Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Everyone's got to help out. 
Yeah, it's this one. There's, there's a wee bit of a story behind here. Ultimately, it mirrors the starboard cabin, albeit we mentioned earlier we have lots of toys on board. <laughs> yeah, you guys have, how many kites do you have? A lot. <laughs> and surfboards and kite boards and... So they live in our garage. Welcome to our garage. The garage. So... Oh it, yeah, it, wow. It, it is genuinely, and we've got an additional freezer that we put in here. Yeah. And we just built a little plywood shelf to put surfboards underneath it, freezer yes. on top. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's skateboards, there's dive gear, there's spear guns, there's, it's just everything lives in here and it works for us. Yes. Um, so good storage area, but take it all out, put a couple of squabs down and you have a cabin. To add to that, originally this vessel had five heads. Yeah. Five cabins, five heads. Uh, we now have two heads and the rest have been utilized for other purposes. Okay, so this is now a workshop. A, this is our tool, tool room. So Which is very well organized. Well, this is where all of our spares are. We've got 100 liters of diesel that lives in here with in Jerry's. Oh, yes. Down below, um, fenders, power tools, stuff that when you're living on a vessel. Can't believe you actually fit all your fenders in here as well as all your, there's a lot of space. Yeah. But all the, all the bits and pieces from a, X bathroom is still there if somebody was to choose to use them. This is not having good for it. So this is Bella's room. There's a two bunks. Mm-hmm. And Bella goes on the top bunk. Yeah. Keep well stuff in here. Storage yes, storage. and school. Mm -hmm. And this is our shower. Okay. So that is just a shower in there, so that's nice and big. Yeah. Everything's very well organized. It's very tidy. Yeah. So is your dad your dad transformed this bedroom, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so he made the bunk and the stove. It's a very good system. Yeah, I think, um, we made and even this a desk. Desk. Yeah. But yeah, this bunk, ultimately it's a double bed, um, but we've just built a really simple pine frame uh, with the screws hidden behind shelves. So in the event of somebody going, no, I want a double bed, that's just you a couple of hidden screws. You can no problem, yeah. Voila, but ultimately all of our home school stuff is under there. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and we've got a bit more room for friends and whatnot. Mm. So that's why we did that. Super good audit, super really just awesome what you've done here. So that was bunk 1.0. Should we go and have a look at bunk 2.0? 2.0. 2.0. So okay. this is the other cabin. So there's two beds in this bedroom. One we made that's a bunk. And mm -hmm. then this one has been here. Underneath there is a water tank that okay. we fill up from outside. And then we've got one air conditioning that works in here. Mm -hmm. And then in this room, we have a bathroom. We have a bathroom. We have a bathroom. And then another bed that has another water tank. Uh huh. This one, there's another air conditioning that's controlled by that one as well. They connect. Okay, and so this connect. used to be a bathroom, uh -huh. but we turned it into a laundry, and then we've got a bathroom right there. So there's more storage in here. Yeah, it's amazing yeah, how many rooms on this boat. For kite boards. <laughs> and oh, it's a kite. Oh my gosh, so many toys in here too. Wow. And, then and I've got this. my own ladder. <laughs> so you basically you live in your own apartment <laughs> with your own exit. <laughs> That's yeah. so good. And big storage up here. Yeah, there is room for everything. Mm, yeah. Big cupboard for all your clothes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's your bed, Archie, yeah? Mm -hmm. Looks comfy. It is. <laughs> it's easy to say goodnight, is it? The right level. Um, but again, same, same. Just a bit more room under here. We retained the double bed. We didn't need the storage. Yeah. And Archie loves sleeping on the top bunk. And yeah, next the to the window. Perfect. Yeah, you can see the stars. So, same thing. We've just got a couple of screws hidden behind the shelves to remove it. Yeah. It's not sleep on it at sea. And he doesn't... That's right. <laughs> Maybe on the other tack? Yeah, yeah. Where, where do you sleep when we're at sea? Under the table. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. 
And this is my bed. This is your bed. How come you have such a mass massive bed just for yourself? And <laughs> I choose the bed mostly. Wow, you're the smallest person on the board and you've got the biggest bed. <laughs> bed, bed so I'm yeah, bed so when somebody comes, bed. I have to sleep with better. Ah, I see. Oh. And then did it took, both of the boys used to sleep up in that cabin. Really? Yeah. Oh, and, and now you've claimed your own territory. The girls used to sleep there because we didn't know okay. what we were going to do with the other side. Oh, yeah, Mom yeah. and Dad were sleeping in the other side. Oh, okay. We're trying to. <laughs> trying to, <Dad>. yeah. <laughs> oh, this is such a good board, hey? I mean, there's just such a good vibe here, you know? It's true. It's yeah. just so... Everything has a place and it's got space in so much space when you think i'm looking at all of you here and <laughs> so much space you could have three families like yours so our engine is a perkins saber m92 and it's a 4.2 liter four cylinder naturally aspirated engine and she's a tractor she gets it done she never stops she's beautiful so we've maintained her uh, rigorously because we ultimately don't want to be out in the middle of the ocean with small kids on board and having engine issues so um, a couple of things that I'll point out is we've got our normal crank battery alternator we've also got 120 amp hour oh so you've got another alternator for, well. our, for our house batteries yes yeah, spot on yeah. mm -hmm. okay but she puts along at about six and a half to seven knots doing 1500 rpm um, not being a turbo, she doesn't rev very. So we've got taps. We've got two 250-liter tanks, <coughs> one under each of the aft bids. Okay. Both of them have fuel taps. Okay. Uh, to shut off and switch between the tanks easily right. as well. And here's your hot water system. So obviously you make your hot water through your engine or via power. It's your marina. Yeah. Okay. Good. I really like how the batteries are really nice and high. Almost everybody these days have batteries under the bunks and in the in the bilge. Yes. That's not exactly what you want. But the it? engine hours uh, are behind Ted, so mm -hmm. we, we mentioned that earlier. If you have a look, top right, uh, top right gauge. Four thousand six six nine. That's nothing for an engine like that. No. Yeah. If anything, we've got to make sure that we actually work it as opposed to just cruising. Of so it's a good thing to give diesels a bit of a nudge every now and then. Speaking yeah. of alternators, uh, somewhat unique about Toria is we have a third alternator as well. Um, you're not going to see it from here, but. We're a shaft-driven vessel. We have three a, a three-blade fixed prop. We have a hydraulic gearbox, which means our prop is always spinning, even when we're under sail. Um, we've got the third alternator off the shaft, putting in power to our house bank, and running our nav gear when we're at sea of a night time, which is really important for us. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So even when you're not using the engine, your prop is making power for you. Correct. Wow. So that's, that's quite unique, and thank you to the Frenchman who owned it prior to us. Yeah, so yeah, so the, the Frenchman who owned it prior to you bought it off... Uh, he in, bought it off... Off the at, charter. Out of charter, correct. So. And he fitted out to go sailing to Australia. Correct. So he had a young family and he did a lot of work uh, to make it blue water ready. Yes. Uh, and had a young family on board as well and sailed it from French Polynesia okay. through to Australia. So you had already done a lot of transformation to make it cruise ready and then you've done even more than yeah. that. So now, yeah, because everything, I can't think of anything that would need money spent on it. It's minor, tiny, cosmetic scratch, scratches, but that's about it. Yeah, it's really? Turn, it's turnkey. It is. You it's can just step on and go cruising. Yeah. Correct. How do you access the engine for maintenance other than the front part? Other than the front. Because that's in two, two folds as well. So one, the bottom and then... So that it is, completely but opens up? Yeah, yes it does, the truth is we've never had to, I think that's more so if you want to actually oh, remove I see. it. Oh I see, remove it, yeah. Um, okay. But there's been no need for us to do that. So um, as far as access, we've got panels in here, oh if you pull that door open for a tick, and we've got yeah. full access all the way down in here. So. And uh, same on the other side. Same on the other side. And then I'll add to it, we've got kites in the way. Let me just move the kite. And we've got more access here. Oh, right. Both sides. So yeah. plenty of access, key box down here. Yeah. There's also additional access to the house batteries. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we put a secondary engine temperature sensor on it that bolts straight Secondary onto the one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And it has an alarm on it, it's digital. 
We've got our temperature, engine temp reading up top as well, but mm -hmm. I like to just have both, a bit of redundancy. Of course. We've also put just a small fan in to yeah. ventilate our battery box area too. Yes, and uh, looking at the front there, so we've opened up all of the, well, almost all of the access. It's just amazing how much access you've got here. Um, and so this is a thermostat for the hot water yeah. system, which automatically will stop the water getting too hot, which is great because a lot of a lot of girls don't have that. Yes. Yeah. And then everything here is labeled. That goes to solar. What is so this? House alternator regulator. Alternator regulator. And that'll be engine bilge pump. Oh yeah. That will yeah. directly to the batteries with a fuse. Well, that's so helpful, really helpful. The next people will be very grateful for having something like that. And then you've got this as well. <laughs> yeah, we do. Uh... <laughs>